Hello everyone, this is Z66, or Zakai, your underpaid, undertrained, underinsured mechanic, and I hope you enjoy the upcoming video. And feel free to take a moment to look around the channel while you're here. I hope you enjoy my videos. I do a little bit of everything. Automotive repair, tools, which is, you know, like my premature evaluation series, my full review series of Ride the Pony reviews, along with tool recovery, where I go to repair broken or damaged tools, anatomy of failure, where I discuss failures in a system and go over them, and, of course, my new series of World of Finance, where I talk about, you know, fun things like financing guns and general financial information. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe at the bottom. And remember, I can't pay for these Ray-Bans without your help. Goodbye. Hello everyone, it's E60 Underpaid Untrained Mechanic. And this is my new money pit. A 94 Camaro V6 of 3.4. Now... I should have done a video already of replacing this recovery tank in the cooling fan motor, but I was really excited to have it fixed. In terms of, still got a few more things. But we are going to get a video today of replacing the tensioner. Because that joker is jacked up. And it's right down here. So, I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to go over this repair. Alright, so we got a 13 millimeter bolt right here for this tensioner that honestly isn't really doing much of anything at this point. But we just gotta get this belt off, which I'm kind of shocked it hasn't thrown the belt already. And also, if you ever have trouble putting the belt on, normally there's a diagram, but what I'd like to do is take a photo of it before I take the belt off. That way, in case I mess something up, I know where to find it. All right. I'm going to stop the video for a second, and I'm going to get the bolts, the sockets I need for this tensioner assembly, and we're going to go from there. Alright, so I got the part out, and you're probably going to be slightly upset I didn't film it, just because I'm going to be honest with you, I was hunched over it, you wouldn't have seen anything, and I don't have anyone else to help me with this. So, let's discuss how we get this off to begin with. So, this is the old one, and it sits like this. This bolt's easy. Now, I sprayed mine down with some penetrating oil, so we just don't get these bolts off a little quicker. This one is more complicated, and basically, I just used a very long 10 millimeter, and you could have used a shorter one, but I couldn't find my deep. I don't know where the hell it went, but it's somewhere. And I just put in a wobble extension so I could angle it a little better, like... this to get under there to get it and then I just broke it loose and ran it down but I mean it's not super hard to take off I sorry I couldn't film it for you but you really wasn't seeing anything so I'm gonna do the install part next oh so, I've got this started it's hard to see but how I got this to make my life easier is I did the top bolt I didn't run it down all the way so I had some room then I just started this bolt, and I'm going to run this to where it's almost tight, and then I'm going to run then snug them down. But that's my easy suggestion next to getting underneath the car to getting this to hang. Because doing it from the top, I feel like it's the harder way to do it, if you can believe it. Alright y'all, I got the part installed. Now we're going to do the belt.
Courage is always your friend. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna fire her up and see if we're gonna pop a belt off or not. But I think it's gonna help considerably. Well, boys and girls, I think we're good. She definitely doesn't grind as much. It doesn't sound as bad. And it looks like we're getting more things. I'll have to test it out see if it's fixed on my phone issues. But I'm probably going to end up having to replace that water pump anyway. But there we go. That's how you do it. Now, I know this wasn't in depth and you can see everything I was doing as I hope. I'm sorry, but it kind of is what it is situation. But hopefully my information is helpful to you. It's been Z66. I hope you enjoyed. You have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, everyone, this is Z66, your undertrained, undershirt, and underpaid mechanic. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment below. Because tell your mama, tell your grandma, to tell your dog. Because I can't do this alone. And I can't pay for these Ray-Bans without your help. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a good day now. Goodbye.